finally finished. You know, I think Charles is really gonna be impressed with this one. In fact, what if he's free to help me test this out? Hey Charles. Hey Barls, what's up? Oh, nothing much. Just got done writing some pretty cool code. Oh yeah? Yep. You got a minute to look at it? <laughs> sure, share your screen. Actually, before I do that, let me send you a build of my project. Okay. Cool, one sec. There. Uh, got it. Great, I'm gonna end the call. You run that build and I'll talk to you in one second. Wait, what? Trust me. Okay, I guess I'll talk to you in a second then. All right, let me run this thing and see what he's talking about. Barl's chat? Oh boy, can't wait to see this. Looks like I have to log in first. Okay. Hmm, this actually looks really legit, but couldn't possibly work, could it? Uh, hello? Charles, is that you? Oh my gosh, it actually works. Well, of course it does. What did you expect? Hey, no offense, Barls, but at your level, this is really impressive. I mean, implementing voice chat is no easy task. It has text chat too. Really? Wow, again, Barls, this is very impressive. Well, thanks, but to be honest, I can't take all the credit. Oh yeah? How come? I actually had a little help from something called VVox. VVox? What's that? Here, let me call you back on Skype and I'll show you. Okay. While he does that, this video is sponsored by Unity. Wow, that was fast. Hey Charles, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. Hmm. Anyways, let me share my screen so I can show you VVox. Hmm, voice and text chat. What is it, a Unity asset? Well, not really. VVox is actually a voice and text chat service that has SDKs for a bunch of popular game engines, like Unity. Oh, okay. So they basically host all the servers and manage all the technology, which you can access from your Unity project, right? Exactly. You just make an account, download the SDK, and you're good to go. Very cool. So what exactly can VVox do? I'm glad you asked. Once you've added it to your project, VVox gives you some great features like 3D positional and channel-based voice chat, multi-channel voice and text chat, player voice control, direct messaging, moderating tools, and on top of all that, it's completely cross-platform. Cross-platform too? Okay, now that's really cool. But how come I've never heard of this before? Is anyone even using it? Actually, yes. According to their website, over 125 games are currently using VVox including Rainbow Six, PUBG, and League of Legends. Oh, well that explains it. <laughs> Those are some incredibly popular games. So I'm guessing that VVox is super expensive. Believe it or not, it's actually free up to 5,000 PCUs. 5,000 PCUs? What does that mean? Oh, PCU stands for peak concurrent users. So as long as you never have over 5,000 players online at one time, you're good. Wow, 5,000 players. Now that's a good problem to have. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, you've convinced me. VVox seems like a great service with tons of awesome features, but you haven't shown me how to use it yet. Right, let me switch over to Unity. So once you've got the SDK installed, all you really have to do is make some calls to the VVox voice manager class, which you can copy from the tank sample project. For example, let's take a look at the code for this login form. So most of the logic here deals with making the form elements react correctly to user input. The only lines related to VVox are here, where the login method is called when the loading overlay is shown, and here, where the class manages adding and removing a listener to the on user logged in event. Gotcha. And what does the listener do? Oh, all it does is load the next scene when the user is logged in. And that's really where most of the magic happens. Ah, that makes sense. Speaking of which, there's a couple of classes in the main chat scene that I can show you too. For instance, the user menu class handles showing the user's display name and the logout button. It gets the display name from current login session and calls the logout method when the logout button is pressed. Nice. And the channel list class is responsible for managing which channel the user is currently connected to, which it does by calling join channel when the user clicks on a channel button. Wow, all that actually looks really simple to implement. And I've worked with a lot of SDKs over the years. It seems like VVox handles a lot of the pain points you'd expect to encounter. 
but you definitely have more experience than I do. All I can say is that I was able to put this example together in just a couple of days. Nice. Hmm. You know, now that I think about it, I actually have a project that voice and text chat would be perfect for. How do I actually get my hands on all of this? Oh, it's really simple. The first thing you want to do is create an account and log into the developer portal. You can do that at developer.vivox.com. Once your account is set up and you've logged in, you'll have access to your dashboard. The dashboard will give you some information about your data usage, some links to the documentation and support, and the ability to create and manage your apps. You can see that I already have one called Borrows Chat. Gotcha. Yeah, I see it there. And I'm assuming to create a new one, you just need to click on New Application. Exactly. You just need to fill out some basic information that you can actually edit later. I'll create one called My Chat App. and then select your engine and platforms. Let's go with Unity and Windows. And that's it. Cool, very straightforward. Yep. once you've created an app, you'll have everything you need to get started. Your environment details, API keys, and access to the Unity SDK for your selected platforms, which we can download right over here. Great, I'm actually creating an account as we speak. That's awesome. Once you're all set, I highly recommend starting with the documentation. The general Unity section has a nice first steps guide and tons of helpful information. Perfect. You know, I'm really excited to get started. Wow, who would have thought the student has become the master? <laughs> you aren't kidding. Thanks for taking the time to walk me through all of this, Borrows. <laughs> Anytime. Well, I think I'm going to dive right into this. If I have any questions, I'll definitely hit you up on Slack. Actually, I'll hit you up on the Borrows chat app instead. <laughs> all right, man. Good luck. Thanks. Catch you later, man. Bye. Special thanks to Umut Sarin, Anton, Mighty Possum, Amar Duranagan, Dustin, Glasswell Entertainment, Nav from Academy of Games, Usuf Ali Kassel, Yakub Al Safari, Arstar, Tron, Darkrush Photography, and Thomas. Thank you guys.